Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. Good morning. It's so good to see you all this Sabbath for Children's Story. I wanted to share the Christmas story in a nice, fun way. Please enjoy. On a night long ago, in a place far away, a baby was born on that first Christmas day. His name was Jesus and he was a king and he came to the world to change everything. This morning we'll look at a story and see the baby that came because he loved you and me. We'll hear about angels and wise men and sheep and the manger in which Jesus could sleep. It's a story that's wondrous, amazing, and true, it's the story about how much God loves you. So listen carefully and we will tell the story and let's worship Jesus, the great King of glory. Mary and Joseph were tired and sore. They had traveled all day and could travel no more. They finally arrived in Bethlehem town only to find there was nowhere to lie down. The hotels were all full. There were no more beds for Joseph or Mary to lay their heads. Exhausted from walking and ready for sleep, they asked a kind man if they could lay with his sheep. They asked him if they could lay in his hay in the barn with the animals where the cows all lay. The man showed them a spot and moved the cows over for a pillow he gave them a pile of clover. And Mary and Joseph sat down with a sigh. It wasn't the best, but it was warm and it was dry. And they slept for a while under the stars and the moon, perhaps unaware that Christ's birth would be soon. While the whole town was sleeping with stars shining bright, Mary's baby was born on that first Christmas night, born in a barn with horses and hay. If you were a king, would you come that way? The king of creation had come to the earth. A Bethlehem barn was a place of his birth. I think I choose a place, but God's ways are stranger. Yes, Jesus was born and wrapped in some cloth. For his first bed, he was placed in a trough. Outside of the town, round a fire so bright, some shepherds were watching their sheep in the night. The night had been quiet and silent and still. The sheep had been starting to doze off until when all of a sudden a radiant light surprised all the shepherds and gave them a fright. An angel appeared and said not to fear. For the Savior was born. The Messiah was here. He'd be wrapped up in cloth and placed in a manger. Go see for yourself. He's a total game changer. He brings joy to the world. He's good news for all men. The angel said this to the shepherds. And then a thousand more angels appeared in the sky. They sang praises to God in the heavens so high. What a huge celebration of joy to the earth as the shepherds were told of the dear Savior's birth. When the angels had left them alone with their sheep, there was no way those shepherds would fall back asleep. Let's go to the town, the shepherds all said, and see if a manger is really the bed of this new little king who was born here tonight. So the shepherds all ran to the town with delight. They arrived in the village and all looked around. It didn't take long till the baby was found. It was just as the angel had told them before. They found Mary and Joseph and Jesus. What's more, Jesus lay in a manger the story was true. The Savior had come. So what did they do? Those shepherds went out and they told the whole town. They told them how God, as a baby had come down, was born in that barn and yet was the king. The Savior from heaven, the angels did sing. 
It wasn't long after some wise men came by. They had followed a star that appeared in the sky. They knew that a king had been born for the Jews. So they stopped at the palace of Herod for clues. Where was the new king they wanted to know? Bethlehem was the answer, and so they did go. They followed the star till it came to the place where they found little Jesus. Oh, the joy on their face. They offered him gifts, gold, frankincense, myrrh. Mary couldn't believe what was happening to her, for her little baby was clearly a king. He was worshiped, adored, and caused angels to sing. He was someone so special, in fact, so divine. He would surely change her life, change your life and mine. For small baby Jesus would grow to a man. He would live without sin and would follow God's plan. He would die on a cross, but would rise three days later to trade all my sin for something much greater. And that's the story of how Christ was born. We have so much to celebrate on this Christmas morn. For God loved the world so much that he gave his only dear son for each person to save. By trusting in Jesus, our sins are forgiven. We have eternal the promise of heaven and all because Jesus was born on that night. The high king of heaven came to make all things right. Merry Christmas, boys and girls. Happy Sabbath.